Bada hii ningependa kufundisha juu ya the spiritual nutrition in the word of God. The spiritual nutrition in the word of God. Ni vizuri kuelewa ya kwamba neno la Mungu liko na utajiri wa kiloho wa kutufaidisha sisi na kutuwezesha kukua remember you are a soul spirit and body the physical food that you eat only benefits your body but you need spiritual food for your soul and for your spirit you need spiritual food for your soul and for your spirit. Na diposa unona, Biblia inapoongea juu ya neno, inafananisha neno na viyakura tunaviyokura. The word of God as water, the word of God as milk, the word of God as bread, the word of God as meat, the word of God as honey, the word of God as wine. Hizi zote ni chakura. Kwa nini mifano hii yote ya neno inapatianwa kulingana na vyakura vya kawaida? Ni kwa sababu neno la Mungu ni chakura cha kiloho. If you begin from Deuteronomy chapter 8 and from verse 3, Deuteronomy chapter 8, uh, and from verse 3, the Bible says, He humbled you, causing you to hunger, and then feeding you with manna, which neither you nor your fathers had known, to teach you that man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Mungu alianza kuwafundisha wana wa Israeli kutoka kule jangwani wakati walipatiwa ile mana kutoka binguni. It was symbolic of spiritual feeding from heaven. Praise the name of the living God. And the Bible says uh, none of them was sick. None was none of them was feeble. Sio kwa sababu tu ya mazingira walio kuwa, lakini kwa sababu kile chakura wali chokuwa na kura. Unajua katika maisha ya kawaida, it is medically proven ya kwamba magonjwa mengi tulio nayo ya natokana na chakura ambacho tunacho kura. Na in fact, ata serikali imeanza ku, kuwekeza katika matibabu ya kuzuilia magonjwa iwe ni kufundisha communities jinsi ya kuishi jinsi ya kukura na ili waelewe ni nini inaweza kuleta madhara katika maisha yao na hivyo hivyo ninaamini ya kwamba mtu ambaye ako na afya nzuri ya kiloho Ako na wezo tu sio wakukua, lakini wakati mtu wako na afya, hata uwezo wako wakukinga magonjwa, na uwezo wako wakufanya kazi, unakuwa katika hali ya juu. Wakati uko na afya nzuri ya kiroho, unakuwa na ushindi, sio tu one in the physical, but also spiritually. By the way, when you are so weak in the spirit, you also become vulnerable to be attacked in your physical body. Kuna watu mambo yale ya mengia kwa mwiri, ya litokana na ndoto, aliona ameumu, aliona mambo ya nafanyika, then physically ya come and face. Iyo inakuambia, shetani anatumia the spirit to attack the physical. Praise the name of the living God. Na kama ungekua strong spiritually, Ni kumaanisha those attacks. 
Praise the name of the living God. Hazinge kuwa na nafasi katika maisha yako. Lazima tuelewe jinsi tunaweza kutumia neno la Mungu kama chakula cha Kiro Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4. Tunaona neno la Mungu Yesu akarudia maneno ya Deuteronomy akasema Jesus answered is it, it is written man does not live on bread alone but on every word that comes from the mouth of God Bwana asifiwe sana Mwanadamu hapaswi kuishi kwa mkate peke yake ila kwa neno linarotoka kwa kinywa cha Mungu Bwana asifiwe sana Haleluya Wacha tuangalie mifano ya neno ambayo inatuonyesha neno kama vyakula In the book of 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 2 The Bible says uh, like new born babies Clave, pure spiritual milk, so that you may, so that by it, you may grow up in your salvation. Now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. He of us too, in a semi kwamba, that, verse 2, like newborn babies, crave. Pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. Bwana sifuwe sana. Iyo word crave inaongea juya a high level of spiritual appetite for the word of God. Did you know that when you are sick in your body, Many times you don't have appetite for food. Bwana sifuwe sana. Wagonjwa wakati mwingi hawana appetite ya chakura. Na wewe wakati unakosa appetite ya chakura cha kiroho inaonyesha ya kwamba kuna kudhonfika furani katika maisha yako ya kiroho. You know there is something you cannot try. But we always do it spiritually. Hakuna mtu, unless you are praying and fasting, hawezi kosa chakula leo, ukose chakula kesho, ukose chakula kesho kutwa, na unasema, you know I'm very busy, sijakula siku tatu, ah, you know I'm very busy for the last two weeks, sijapata na fasi ya kukula, na unaendelea na maisha, is it possible? Umeshao ikuona mtu wamesao kukula wiki mzima? Si hata wakati tunafunga huwa tunahesabu siku ya pili. Na unapanga siku ya kufungua, tafungua na machungwa, unaanza kujipanga. So it's not normal usahau ya kwamba hujakula siku mbili, siku tatu. Maybe one meal. Na bado unasema niko busy, sijakula lunch. Bona kiroho unaweza kaa siku mbili. Siku tatu, haujakura, na hauna shuguli. Praise the name of the living God. It's not normal. That's a big problem. Na watu, wakati mwingi ya waone shida. Jina labwana wipewe sifa. Okay, tumeanza na maziwa, ambayo, bibi nasema ya kwamba kama mtoto. Umesha ikuona katoto kadogo. Mpaka wakati kamerara kamefunga macho. Kana tafutana na matiti ya mama hivi. Kakishika kana nyonya. Na unaambiwa wacha mtoto anyonye mezi sita mfrulizo. Iri awe na afia. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Na wewe katika maisha yako ya kiroho. Unaangalia vile ambavyo unakura vya kura vya kiroho. Neno katika John 15 and verse 3. Hapo tunaona neno kama maziwa. Lakini tungeanza pia na neno kama maji. Kwa sababu maji diyo inatusafisha, diyo tunaingia kwa wakovu. Bibi nasema, you are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. You are already what? 
clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Neno la Mungu hapa tunaliona kama maji yanayosafisha. Praise the name of the living God. Hata saa hizi wakati unapokuja kwa ibada na unapokea neno, kuna vile neno huwa linakuosha maisha yako. Praise the name of the living God. Maisha yako ya kiroho yanaendelea kusafishwa. Praise the name of the living God. I think it is in Ephesians. Can you give us Ephesians 5:26? Ephesians 5:26. Neno la Mungu linasema ya kwamba to make her holy cleansing her by the washing with water through the word. Yaani kanisa ifanywe takatifu kwa kusafishwa na maji ya neno. This is the process of sanctification. That means uh, the water of the word will wash you to become a new believer. Lakini bado unaendelea kuoshwa mpaka ufanywe mtakatifu paka zile tabia ndogo ndogo hazimpendezi Mungu zinaendelea kuoshwa kila wakati unapokaa na kusikiza neno kila wakati unapokaa na kufeed kwa neno la Mungu linakuosha praise the name of the living god wapendwa mambo ya kuwa mtakatifu na kuishi maisha matakatifu sio tu jambo la kukaa chini na kulia ati naendelea kufanya dhambi naendelea kukosea Mungu Daudi alisema nimeficha neno rako ndani yangu ili nisikukosee nisifanye dhambi yani neno la Mungu likiwa ndani yako linakupatia uwezo wa kushinda hata dhambi praise the name of the living God Hallelujah. Na kama the same way in the natural water is important uh, to your body, the same way the word of God uh, is important uh, to your spiritual life. Praise the name of the living God. So the Bible says crave. Uh, you crave for spiritual pure milk. That is a an adulterated word of god neno safi la mungu hiyo ni kumaanisha kwamba kuna injiri unaweza kusikia ikuchafue kwa sababu injiri ni kama maji kuna injiri unaweza kusikia ikuchafue badara ya kukusafisha praise the name of the living god so tunaona neno kama maji tunaona pia neno la mungu linatumika kama maziwa so baada ya kuokoka na kusafishwa na kutolewa kwa dunia neno la Mungu linaendelea kutusafisha paka tunakuwa watakatifu lakini baada ya kuokoka unakuwa hande dova kwa neno la Mungu kama maziwa hapa ningependa kusema hivi na ningependa ushike hii unaona vile ninavyohubiri the same message is downloaded differently to different people depending on their level of growth bwana asifuwe sana haleluya kuna watu nikihubiri mbona huwa sometimes hapa every sunday na hata leo watu wanaokoka bwana asifuwe sana ni kwa sababu kuna mtu wakati alikuwa nasikia hilo neno lilikuwa linakuja kwake kama maji linakuja kumusafisha kumuonyesha we ni mchafu ondoa hii ondoa hii lakini kwa mtu mwingine hilo neno linaweza kuja the same word linakuja kama nyama linakuja kama maziwa linakuja kama mkate praise the name of the living god even when i read the bible for myself there are revelations ambazo mungu anaweza kunipatia sawa sawa na mahali niko Bwana asifuwe sana. Neno linakuhudumia sawa sawa na kiwango chako. That is why the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 5 uh, and 11 Hebrews chapter 5 from verse 11 the Bible says uh, we have much to say about this but it is hard to explain because you are slow to run. 
In fact, though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you the elementary truths of God's word. All over again, you need milk, not what? Solid food. Huh? Anyone who lives on milk, being an infant, is not acquainted with the teaching about righteousness. But solid food is for the mature, who by constant use have trained themselves to distinguish good from evil. Praise the name of the living God. Where are you? Can you be able to eat solid food? Have you been trained by the word of God to distinguish good from evil? Unajua kuna mambo watoto huwa anafanya. Nisema wakati tulikuwa watoto, mama ange tubeba, anaenda shamba, tunawachu wa mahali, tunaweke wa mavuli. Mama anaenda kulima na wale wakubwa. Baada ya masamawili anakuja kukuangalia. Akija kukuangalia, anakuta wewe ndiye huyo unakura mchanga. Kalibu unakura mpaka hile nikuwe na hituwa minyongoro. Haku anakuchapa, anatoa pepo. Alikuwa anajua huu ni uto, ni utoto. Na wakati ulikuwa mtu mkubwa, ukaachana na hayo mambo. Nenora mungu, huwa linaditamine the spiritual growth of every believer. Praise the name of the living God. Linaditamine the spiritual growth. Sasa hawa watu mpola nasema, nyinyi mnaitaji maziwa. Hamwezi kura chakura kigumu. Kwa sababu chakura kigumu ni cha watu ambao wamekoma na wamejizoeza, wametenganisha kujua mabaya na mema. Praise the name of the living God. Where are you my brother? Are you still feeding on the word of God as water to cleanse you? As spiritual milk? that you may grow in your salvation, all are solid food or the meat of the word of God. Praise the name of the living God. We also have John chapter 6 uh, and verse 32. We can combine all this together. John chapter 6 uh, and verse 32. The Bible says, Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth. It is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the blood of God is he who comes from heaven and gives life to the word. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Wakasema, sir, they said, from now on, give us this blood. Then Jesus declared, I am the blood of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry. And he who believes in me will never be thirsty. Praise the name of the living God. The word of God is the blood of life. Praise the name of the living God. Are you feeding on this blood? Buenas fesana. So we have water. We have milk. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Then after milk we go to Bled, then after bled we go to what? To solid food, to meat, the meat of the word. Written in the book of First Corinthians chapter 3. First Corinthians chapter 3 from verse 1. The Bible says, uh, uh, Brothers, I could not address you as spiritual, but as worldly, mere infant in Christ. I gave you milk. Not solid food. Can you give us that in King James Version? I fed you with milk and not with meat. For hitherto you are not able to bear it. Neither yet now are ye able. Why? Waja tuone mambo ya utoto hapo chini from verse 3. For ye are yet kano. 
ni watu wa kimwili for where there is among you envying ukiona mtu ako na wivu mwambie ni utoto and strife and divisions are ye not carnal and walk as men for while one says i'm of paul and another i am of apros are ye not carnal those are divisions and they are a sign that you have not been able to grow spiritually praise the name of the living god what am i trying to say brethren the more you feed spiritually number one, feeding gives you hallelujah uh, we have a family page and i think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday i saw some photos being sent by one of my daughters na ni picha za wao wakiwa wachanga yani unaangalia unasema mtoto tu anato hana go hawa watoto walikuwa nakaa hivi praise the name of the living god hapo ndio unajua nguvu ya chakula bwana asifiwe sana nguvu ya nguvu ya hiyo ni nguvu ya chakula nguvu ya chakula ndio inafanya mtoto wazae mtoto ambaye ako na kilo moja na nusu hmm? paka anashikwa anapotelea kwa zile matawero na show naangalia kama kako ndani kweli kadogo lakini bora tu kananyonya praise the name of the living god kanaanza kufura kama baroon kanaanza kuongezeka kakikuwa kuwa kidogo kanaanza kupatiwa solids vyakula ngumu ngumu kidogo praise the name of the living god akikuwa mkubwa die huyo kuku ikichinjwa anataka kukura baadaye unakuta mtu ambaye amekomaa anaweza kujipigania katika maisha yake bwana apoe sifa so spiritual food also gives you number one, growth and growth is critical i said one of the challenges we have in the church today is immaturity na tukaona the book of song of songs uh, chapter 8 uh, and verse 8 ambayo bibi inasema ya kwamba we have a retro sister and she had no blessed what shall we do for our sister in the day when she shall be spoken for yani huyu dada yetu kifua chake kiko flat na kuna siku imenenwa remember this is spiritually praise the name of the living god wadada wasinichukue vibaya hata kama uko flat tunakuombea bado utaolewa <laughs> bwana asifiwe sana lakini spiritually bibi nataka kutuonyesha kwamba there is a spiritual marriage that is wait, awaiting the church praise the name of the living god and the church has not yet matured bwana asifiwe sana maturity comes from feeding the way you feed na watu wengine wana feed vibaya wako na kwashia koa ya kiroho wako na anemia praise the name of the living god unajua unaweza onekana physically uko very strong ha huh? but spiritually you are dead there are people who are dead spiritually and there are people who, who even though they are alive they are weak and feeble because they don't feed make it a habit in your life to feed your soul and your spirit from the word of god praise the name of the living god hallelujah the same way you feed your physical body bwana asifiwe sana na siku hizi kuna biblia hata za audio unaweka tu unasikiza unasomewa tu ha kuna messages Unaweza enda kwa YouTube za wahubiri sound usikize zikusaidie kukua. Lakini neno la Mungu pia kujisomea na sio tu kusoma para para para. Kusoma ukitafuta kuelewa study is when you lead with a desire to understand. 
Praise the name of the living God. Unasoma ukitaka kuelewa. Na hiyo kutaka kuelewa huwa inakuja pia na kujiuliza maswali. Hii ilifanyika namna gani? Kwani ilikuwa namna gani? Now that is how you chew the word of God. That is how you meditate on the word of God. Ha? Unajua hata chakula ukitaka ikusaidie usimeze kumeza. Nilikuwa na baba yangu mdogo alikuwa akipewa chakula anakula na unakuta kama 3 minutes chapati yote ame na alikuwa anatumia lugha mbaya sana alikuwa alikuwa anasema ilioneko faga ko faga yani chakula ni kupanga tu kwa tu kwa tumbo lakini pia hata kama ungemwangalia uone umuri wake na size ya mwili wake ungeona huyu mtu ni kama hakuli because the style yake ya kukura haiwezi kumfaidi digestion tulifundishwa inaanza kwa mdomo unaweka chakula mate unachiu na wewe lazima ujue the same to the word of god sio ati kusoma nataka kusoma haraka haraka unajua wiki hii apostle amesema tusome biblia wacha nisome hii chapter tatu ndio nimalize nilale kufaga kufaga kiuo na wewe unapanga 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 neno unakuwa na constipation paka baadaye ukiulizwa ulisoma nini haushiki praise the name of the living god soma pole pole ukitafuta kuelewa na unatafakari ha? kuna sehemu ninasoma ya biblia nikisoma naanza kutafakari ninatafuta kuelewa nina internalize Nina meditate katika hilo neno. Na hapo ndio neno hugeuka sasa kuwa chakula. You know there are animals that even chew cards. Yaani wanyama wale wanakula haraka haraka kama ng'ombe, nyasi ni kupanga kupanga. Lakini hiyo ng'ombe hata ikipanga panga nyasi, kuna mahali itakaa ianze kuchiu, kutoa sasa kusiaga. Na wewe kuna vile ambavyo unaweza kusoma neno na baadaye una relax na unaanza ku meditate on the word of god that is how the word of god benefits you and arouses the nutrition in the word of god to benefit your soul and your spirit and causes you to grow to become strong praise the name of the living god there are people who are spiritually weak Praise the name of the living God. Yaani kiroho wanatishwa mpaka na mapepo yale hayafai kuatisha. Kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu they are not strong. Si nikwambia kuna mtumishi wa Mungu aliona shetani ameingia kwa nyumba, akamuuliza ni wewe shetani? Okay, akajifunika blanket akaendelea kurara. Watu wengine hapa akiona shetani, ile duru. Ha? Wengine hata haweza kupiga duru ni kuzirai. Ha? You know when you are spiritually strong. Hata wakati unatoa mapepo, unakemea mapepo, demons can feel your spiritual strength. Kuna mtu huwa anaenda ma, anatoa mapepo, unakuta mapepo hata inakuchekelea. Ah, newe. Ha? Hatutoki. Ha? Because hata mapepo inapima ile nguvu uko naye kiroho. Bwana asifuwe sana. Haleluya. Yesu mwenyewe alipoingia makabulini, mtu alikuja kupiga magoti na akasema usitutese. Wewe ni nani? Wapendwa, si tuwe strong spiritually. Ya kwamba hata mambo mengine tukirushiwa, tukikutana na upinzani. Si uwe strong paka pepo zingine ziachane na wewe paka mambo ya kuiba shetani kila wakati uache paka watu wakiongea na juu ya shetani unauliza kayakora kwa kuo aliyo kuo praise the name of the living god unajua kuna watu ni kama wanakutana na shetani kila siku uliza jirani ulitebero walini mwisho kuna watu wimbo wao ni shetani shetani Leo asubuhi alinimwagia maziwa. Nikitoka kwa nyumba akafanya nigongo na frame ya mlango, ona kucha imetolewa. Shetani kila kitu. Kwani we ni mudhaifu namna gani? Shetani anakuchezea. 
kataa kuchezewa na mapepo katika jina la Yesu Kristo lazima uwe na afya ya kiroho katika jina la Yesu unajua huu mfalme tumeitwa ni kuwa na kupatia inchi iliyo na watu kama aliwaambia inchi nao wapatia iko na asali na maziwa na hizo ngombe hazikuwa na magonjo ya mastitis si zilikuwa zinakamuliwa si ni kweli na Mungu anakuambia nimekupatia Mungu anakupatia anga nyumba na unaona inatoa moshi unaambia Mungu ni, ni, ni hiyo ama ni gani anakuambia ni hiyo unaambia Mungu na nimeona watu wanacheza hapa anakuambia e, lakini nimekupatia enda uwatoe ya yeah? na hii sasa the old testament was physical the new testament is spiritual we don't wrestle against the flesh and blood if you don't feed spiritually you'll never be strong enough to go and take possession of the land that god has given unto you praise the name of the living god you need to grow that is why ulithi wa watoto unawekwa chini ya mawakili hauwezi kupatiwa utapatiwa namna gani mtoto atawezaje kwenda kutoa maadui lazima ukue lazima ukule neno la Mungu praise the name of the living god lazima ukubali neno la Mungu liwe kama maji liendelee kukusafisha kila wakati unasikiza kila wakati una study neno la Mungu praise the name of the living god